What's up YouTube? In this video, we're going to see how to deploy Checkpoint Remote Access. Uh, the main idea is to allow users uh, access uh, the network 172.16.2.0 sitting behind this gateway and whatever place they might be in. But for this example, I'm going to use this PC that is sitting in this network behind this firewall, ASA firewall and it's going to be authenticated using um, uh, the management server database locally and using uh, uh, credentials from uh, an active domain okay so to do this uh, make sure that your gateway has the appropriate license for this feature and it is enabled that's mobile access license and uh, first, I uh, want to start by creating uh, our local user. Uh, let me expand this a bit more. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to create a new user and just call VPN1 in the name. And this user will be authenticated using checkpoint passwords. and that's that's all what is required and uh, to uh, authenticate the users using uh the, the um the active domain users uh we can create uh, an ldap group and that should be user ldap group and I just call uh, AD VPN uh, users. And we have to reference our AD, that's account unit. We're just going to, we could specify here specifically which uh, organization units or which groups we want to query. Uh, I'm just going to leave this to the font just to make it simple. Uh, we have our local user, we have our active domain uh, group enabled. So now let's enable the feature on our gateway. And there are two features that we need. It's going to be mobile access. Uh, just going to disable web and mobile access. We're just going to use uh, uh, for desktop and laptops. And it's going to try to connect to the active domain. And that won't take much long. And it's okay. Now we have to enable identity awareness because we want to query uh, the active do the active domain. So just going to leave that enabled and it's going to try to connect. And you already have your active domain connected. It's going to take those credentials and it's successful. Okay, now some tricks that I need. It's, uh, let me see, for VPN clients, we want the OFS mode. And this is what allow uh, the remote client uh, to be assigned an IP address. And right now uh, it is being, is being, uh, it is being assigned to all the users, but we we want we can filter to a group of users. For instance, just a VPN group. And what we have here, and for mobile access, we want to use unified access policy. This way, we can set the the policies all in one place. And authentication not need and ops mode is going to inherit. Yep, and the link no, no need so. That's it. And now, uh, okay. So now we have uh, LDAP group users and local users. So I'm going to place these two into this user group, VPN user group. So instead of uh reference one or another can just use both at the same time inside this group so i'm going to use so this vpn group will have the ad users and 
local user that I might have on management server. Okay. And these group of users will be the ones that will be able to remote, uh, remotely access this gateway. So now in our VPN community for remote access, we can filter specifically for these VPN group users. It's okay. And now, and now we have to create the policy that will dictate users that are accessing remotely, which resource they can access. So I just call remote access. Remote access, just remote access, any source to my internal network, to this network, and to using this VPN, remote access VPN. And I want to allow this traffic, I want to accept and lock. So now I can publish and install this policy. To take a minute or less. Okay, as the policy is installed, uh, let me look at the client side. Now, at the client side, we have to download the VPN client from Checkpoint website and we you have to install on the machine that we're going to use to for remote access so i have already installed and then we have to configure uh, the site okay and it's the client so it's going to ask to configure a new site and basically what we have to do we have to say which gateway are we trying to access 1968 3254 Oops. And this is the preferred login option. Just use default, uh, username and password. And the site is created. And we can try to connect right now. So, as we saw here, I created this local user VPN1. So, let's try to log in using this user VPN1. Use the VPN already authenticated. Okay, that's awesome. Connection succeeded. Okay, great. Now, uh, let me see what do I have here. In my routing table, I should have network 172.16.2. This is uh, it's part of the domain that I'm trying to access. So let's see if I can reach that. And I can, and this is a uh, Windows PC host and also the router 19. So uh, using a local user, uh, I was able, I was authenticated successfully and I can access the resource. So let's try now uh, uh, with a user from AD. So let's start with Jenny. Engine was successfully authenticated. Okay, and should have access to the same resource. So, and then you, if you want, you can uh, filter out uh, users from within AD that should have access. Uh, what is it? LDAP group. Uh, for, for, uh, for specific uh, organization unit or for specific group. Uh, this will depend on your needs and your business needs, but that's how we do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.